A lot of discussion over the police releasing or holding back the video from the public. Do you believe the video of the shooting should be released and released soon? Well, um, I actually was able to view that video today. And I am in agreement with our chief, um, as well as the family uh, of Mr. Scott. And uh, both the family and the chief have said the video is ambiguous. Uh, it is not clear. Um, when you have a body camera in motion, you have things in the way and obscured uh, views, it, it is not clear. And um, I lean toward transparency. I lean toward wanting to release the video. But I also am aware that there is an active ongoing investigation an independent investigation by the State uh, Bureau of Investigation uh, that is ongoing and I am trying to strike that delicate balance between uh, transparency to the public but also knowing that we want that investigation to have the highest integrity. We want it to have all the pieces in place before that is completed. And so I am working with our police chief and will continue to stay in touch with law enforcement uh, and striking that delicate balance as to when that video might be released. You said that you're in agreement with the, the family that, that the video is, is ambiguous, not clear. Is it clear to you that Mr. Scott actually had a gun in his hand? Because the family attorney says uh, they did not see that. Uh, it is not a very clear picture. And uh, the gun in question is a small gun. And it was not uh, easy to see uh, with the way the motion was happening. So it is ambiguous.